Hey everyone, it's Garrison here and welcome back to the channel and today I am so so excited because I'll be checking out XG's latest release here with Puppet Show, the official MV for an all now. We love to see it, more than love to see it, Puppet Show as well as their first mini album New DNA finally out and as I was seeing in the description here for the track listing, it seems like we have one track called Hisa Nu, uh, sorry if I butchered the pronunciation, and then we got X Gene, and then the previous releases that we got prior to Puppet Show here, which got me thinking, wow, those previous tracks weren't necessarily pre-releases. They were more so title tracks, am I right? You guys can correct me if I'm wrong here, but it, it seems like what the management and people behind the scenes did was like, Okay, why not have multiple title tracks? Because at the end of the day, not everyone's going to gravitate towards the same title track. And people have their own musical preferences and all. And for XG to do that is really smart. Because if you think about it, Girl Gang, more hip-hop heavy, TGIF. It's more so chanty and, of course, Deep House rooted into it and all. And then we got New Dance that it's like a pop dance track with some hip-hop influences in the mix definitely much more of a brighter track comparably to the other songs but that got me thinking what route and kind of influence puppet show is gonna take right in terms of concept theme everything pretty much so aside from that enough talk let's just dive into the music video now all right so brought it up here puppet show by xg i got the english captions on and all let's go oh with the Interesting setting here. All these people being covered up. Seems like we're on a whole different planet with XG, per se. Oh, maybe something in regards to world domination? Hmm. But it feels like I'm never heard. Okay, Harvey. Oh, I'm loving this electro influence on this track. Ain't up for debating. <laughs> oh yeah, loving the tempo of this song. And just the momentum that it's picking up here. Whoa! Okay! Okay, definitely not the chorus drop that I was expecting, but... Man, this... Vocal work is to die for, am I right? Like, this track really complements their vocals. Oh, I'm like Atari. Oh, I love the hi hats here. Playing Puppet Master. Yeah, I totally get the concept and theme for this. Ooh. Just that bass, though. And then. When we get hit with the chorus, I love this, like, almost future bass influence to it. This, like, future bass influence hook. Oh, the vocals. So satisfying. Bridge. Piano here. And the northern lights. That snare drum hi hat work though. Welcome 
Oh, wow. Just the finale here. I love it. Oh, wow. They're just sending us here. Straight. They're literally glowing in this final scene. The skies and sun. Everyone behind the scenes, shout out to them. Day one, two, and three. Definitely took multiple days for for this for sure. It had to take multiple uh days because a lot of efforts, a lot of details were put into this when destiny and galaxies align mm. Ooh. hold up oh. wow puppet show this is definitely a different approach compared to the other title tracks that they've had you know uh within this mini album and uh comparably to their previous title tracks beyond this particular era with new dna i've got to admit and it's very refreshing and uh shocking right because like it takes this like mainly it takes the pop genre with electro influences there's a nice propulsive movement within the verses such as verse one right away right and then in verse two where it goes crazy with it in terms of the rap and then Hanada uh ra wrapping up verse two there before we got the pre-chorus in the second go around obviously and then in the chorus it is more so like a future bass trap percussion hook and chorus that really takes things back a bit like it doesn't like continue the tempo and momentum and pace that it was going at during like everything else that occurred before the chorus you feel me in terms of the sections which is quite an interesting surprise and turn to it first go around right i was like oh this is surprising but then the second go around i'm like Oh, I'm digging this even more and more. So I feel like with the chorus, I'm going to get used to it more and more. I just do prefer tracks that if they do take this kind of momentum and pace to it, I would rather have like a, a song that never lets up per se. Um, instead, this one does let up in the chorus to utilize the members vocals really well. And you got to admit through and through from start to finish like this utilizes XG's like vocal talents to the fullest and in a different manner compared to their previous songs as well at the same uh, time. And then you got the bridge that sets it up so perfectly into the final chorus, I've got to admit. Memorable lines as always, English lines that are, are sensical lines that, wow, I wouldn't expect, you know, like likes of Atari and all and I, it makes sense to have this sort of theme and concept for puppet show. It's like woman being, of course, the, the masters and, you know, the, the creators or whatever. And then you got puppets as in terms of the men and all some sort of connecting along the lines of empowerment and all. And they did mention like, what if we were to, you know, switch the, the, the roles, you know what I'm saying? But you get the gist of it and all there's good intentions uh behind this song i just think i gotta get used to the chorus right other than that this is like a 9 out of 10 for me all the way this is a strong 9 out of 10 which makes me uh wonder you know how x gene is as well as the title track isa new which we will have to check out in a separate video because you know it takes time to process xg's music because they're the production can be intricate at times and then there's moments where like i gotta really break things down bit by bit 
and that's the case here with puppet show everyone so i'm gonna bring it back up here right away i love the theme and concept but also especially how it takes this electro influence to it right i think this has to be in my top three echelon of title tracks within this particular era because I really love the melodic moments and, of course, the vocal moments that we get in this song. It's time I get what I did, so, so we get the intro here. Spend a lot of time talking. But it feels like I'm never heard. Wow, I love those background vocal moments in verse 1 here from Harvey to Jareen. And then I like Jareen's lines here. Treat me like a lady, this ain't, up. Treat me like a lady, this ain't up for debating. Boy, stop playing for it, it goes to... Oh, goes a different route. Taking up the hi-hats here. Very bouncy bass, obviously. Wrapped around our fingers. I love that line there. And then, chorus. Where it takes all that momentum and puts it in its track to for this sort of kind of breakdown, a sudden spontaneous uh, switch up. To really grab our attention in a way where we play them like they're plastic dolls. Love the choreo for this song too. See him saying the vocal work? <laughs> it is truly to die for. Okay, verse two. Probably one of my favorite sections in this song, aside from the pre-chorus and bridge. I really love verse two. I'm gonna I went hard in the pain with this one. But you're an extra. Play him like Atari. It's the hi-hat snare work. Yeah, I'm just, honestly, at the end of the day, I do prefer more so of the melodic tracks by XG and their hip-hop heavy uh, tracks with the, the, you know, heavier rap lines and all. And we just get the best of both worlds here. More so vocal heavy, though, right? Comparably to the other title tracks off of this era. And like I said, this is a very future bass, trap percussion heavy chorus, right? It's it's a sudden switch up, but the more and more I listen to it, it becomes more fitting for the song, you feel me? Like, I can't be the only one feeling that way. Oh, I love this bridge with the piano. So beautiful. Just like serenading us. Oh, I love the percussion work here. Just the tinging and tanging. The hi-hats. And then they went very cinematic with it and all. And then they just send us, send us, and just bring it back all together here. Some vocal flourishes. Like, what's not to love? You gotta, you know, love vocal flourishes in their songs. <laughs> I like Jareen's hair in this final scene. 
truly glowing. Stunning. Damn. What an interesting approach. That they took with this song. I've got to admit. Right? I feel like this is quite the grower for me type of song. But like, upon second listen, I'm loving it more. And even with more listens, I'm sure that's going to be the case. Because usually there's times where like, sure, you can have an impactful song such as Girl Gang. But like, I feel like at the end of the day, like having an impactful song is much as important as having a song with a lot of longevity and replay value. And I emphasize that a lot on the channel here. And don't get me wrong, I'm still streaming Girl Gang. But in terms of favorite title track wise, like within this particular era, I think I gotta go with New Dance more preferably. I'd have to go with New Dance. I would have to go with, I would say Girl Gang and Puppet Show. That would be my uh, top three echelon uh there no in no particular order except for new dance being my favorite title track out of the bunch but let me know your thoughts everyone are you messing with a puppet show can you relate with any sort of my statements or analysis uh today or my biased uh thoughts today i just like to take in as approach as from an objective standpoint and of course as a fan as well but stay tuned for my coverage for isanu and x gene if you guys are interested in me checking that out let me know in the comment section down below or let me know if anything xg related is gonna drop soon in the near future this has been garrison as always be sure to like and subscribe as it goes a long way and it helps out the channel so so much take care and peace